Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve one-step addition inequalities and one-step subtraction inequalities. We'll start with addition and then move on to subtraction. Now, when we solve inequalities, we want to isolate the variable, get it by itself on one side of the inequality. We do that by using inverse operations, opposite operations. Basically, we use an inverse operation to undo another operation, and this will isolate the variable. So this is just like when we solve equations. Let's jump into number one, where we have w plus seven is greater than or equal to 15. So we need to solve this. We need to isolate that variable of w. Now we are adding seven to w, so we need the inverse operation of addition. The inverse operation of addition is subtraction. So let's subtract seven from the left side of the inequality. Whatever we do to one side of an inequality, we must do to the other in order to keep it balanced. So subtract seven from the right side as well. Now, as far as the left side, these sevens cancel each other out. W is now isolated. So we have W is greater than or equal to, and then on the right side, 15 minus seven gives us eight. So we have W is greater than or equal to eight. So any value greater than or equal to eight is a solution of this inequality. It makes it true. And let's check a solution to make sure we are correct here. Now we can't check every value greater than or equal to eight. That would be impossible. We have an infinite amount of possibilities as far as solutions, values that make this inequality true. So what we can do, we can check one value or more if we would like to see if this works. Let's use 10. 10 is greater than or equal to eight. So let's plug in 10 for W. So we have 10 plus seven is greater than or equal to 15. 10 plus seven gives us 17. 17 is greater than or equal to 15. So 10 does make this inequality true, along with any other number greater than or equal to eight. So we are correct here. Our answer for number one, W is greater than or equal to eight. Let's move on to number two, where we have X plus four is less than nine. So we need to isolate that variable of X. We are adding four to X. So we need the inverse operation of addition. That's subtraction, so subtract four from the left side. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other, so subtract four from the right side as well. These fours cancel each other out. X is now isolated, so we have X is less than, and then on the right side, nine minus four gives us five. So X is less than five. So any value less than five is a solution of this inequality. It makes it true. Let's check one so we can pick any number less than five. Let's use three. So plug in three for X here. So we have three plus four is less than nine. Three plus four gives us seven. Seven is less than nine. So we are correct here. Our answer for number two, X is less than five. So any value less than five will work for this inequality, will make this inequality true. So there's how to solve one step addition inequalities. Let's move on to subtraction. So here are our subtraction examples. Let's jump into number one, where we have Y minus two is greater than five. So we need to solve this. We need to isolate the variable of y. Now two is being subtracted from y. So we need the inverse operation of subtraction. The inverse operation of subtraction is addition. So add two to the left side of the inequality. Whatever we do to one side of an inequality, we must do to the other in order to keep it balanced. So add two to the right side as well. Now, as far as the left side, these twos cancel each other out. So Y 
is now isolated. We have y is greater than, and then on the right side, 5 plus 2 gives us 7. So y is greater than 7. And that's our answer. So any value greater than 7 is a solution of this inequality. It makes it true. And let's check a solution to make sure we are correct here. So we need to use any value greater than 7 here and plug it in for y. Let's use 12. So plug in 12. We have 12 minus 2 is greater than 5. 12 minus 2 gives us 10. 10 is greater than 5. So this does work. We are correct here. Our answer again for number 1, y is greater than 7. Let's move on to number 2 where we have negative 6 is less than or equal to c minus 3. So we are subtracting 3 from c here. We need the inverse operation of subtraction. That's addition, so add 3 to the right side of the inequality. That means we need to add 3 to the left side as well. Now as far as the right side, these 3's cancel each other out. C is now isolated, so we have C is greater than or equal to, and then on the left side, negative 6 plus 3 gives us negative 3. So C is greater than or equal to negative 3. Now one thing we can do here is rewrite the inequality with the variable coming first. It can make it easier to work with inequalities, so keep this in mind. And all we need to do is flip it. So we need our variable C, and then our symbol, we need to make sure is going the correct way. So it's opening up towards C. We need C to be greater than or equal to negative three. So again, we can rewrite this with the variable coming first if we prefer. Now let's check a solution. So we need any value greater than or equal to negative three. Let's try four. So we will plug in four for C. So we have four minus three. Four minus three gives us one and negative six is less than or equal to one, so that does work. Our answer for number two, C is greater than or equal to negative three. So C can be any value greater than or equal to negative three. So there you have it. There's how to solve one step addition and subtraction inequalities. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.